Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. My favorite makeup today is actually a makeup product, a makeup cleaning product as it were, and it's this. It's this bar of ivory soap. I had a 10 pack of these for six bucks at the CVS because they didn't sell them individually. And I used this today to clean my beauty blender. And you know what? It totally works. It works pretty much the same. It does have a scent to it that the Beauty Blender Solid does not have, but it's not an annoying scent, just it smells like soap. So this works just the same. You get way more product for it, and $6 to 10 bars, I will probably never run out ever again. So I'm really excited about this. <laughs> anyway, on to the video. So for today's video, I went through my entire makeup stash, and I pulled out a bunch of products that I've actually never used before. So this will be a full face of stuff of things that it's new to me. Some of it is brand new makeup products that I just received recently, but some of it's stuff that survived the declutter because I was totally going to use them eventually, but I still haven't yet. So it's now or never, guys. Got to find out if you're any good. So let's get started. I've already put on my moisturizer, so I'm using my Belief True Cream Aqua Balm, and I'm letting that sit in, and then I'm going to put on a primer. So this is the NARS Radiance Primer. This is a broad spectrum SPF 35 sunscreen. Uh, its uses are to help prevent sunburn. It does not claim to do anything else in terms of priming, at least on the sample packet. Ugh. It smells like the dentist's office. It's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just sort of a, a vague chemical smell. This is another one of those packets that I probably could use like three times, and this is definitely going to be overkill in terms of primer. Yep, I squirted out way too much. I don't know if you can see, it's sort of like a weird neon orange color directly out of the tube. There's still at least another serving in that packet. We'll see how this goes if I decide to keep it. It does apply very nicely. It's not too sticky. And actually the smell that I, that I detected in the packet, it, it dissipates very quickly uh, once you get it out into the air. And so the foundation we're going to try today is this. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. This also has an SPF of 15 in it. This is in the shade Light Neutral. This is the one I thought looked the closest to what my shade should be out of the samples that came on the little packet. And I've always wanted to try this foundation. I just didn't want to indulge in it full price. And it's, it's definitely, it's very thick. It's sort of moussey. So I'm going to just dot this on my face a little. Yeah, this is definitely a very thick feeling foundation, so I hope this doesn't go on too, too intense. And now I'm going to take my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and I'm going to try to blend this in. My immediate thought is, is I don't know how full coverage this actually is because I feel like I can definitely see, I can see everything through this. I, I also am still very radiant from this primer, so it might just be that this was a bad match to each other. Let's keep blending. <laughs> Let's add a little more and see if it layers up to be more full coverage. I actually do think this is a good match for me, especially in the winter. I am very glowy, though I'm assuming that that's because of the NARS Radiance Primer. I'm assuming that that is what's giving me this sort of unearthly glow that I have going on right now. So I do plan to try the primer out again with a different foundation and this foundation out again with a different primer, but I don't actually hate the way this looks together. I think it looks quite nice. It's a very, it's sort of a natural glow without being ridiculous, but I actually really like the foundation. It blended very nicely and it did get to be pretty full coverage once I went over it the second time. I think I just didn't use enough the first go around. So I don't, I think I'm going to powder judiciously after I do my under eyes. So let's deal with that first. So I have been using this. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector Cream. So this has been lovely. I've been tapping this under my eyes. But when I got that, I also got this in a support play box, which is the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This is the Illumination Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. This is in the shade Medium. I did want to try out both before making a decision. I didn't think I needed to keep two under eye illuminating creams. I really do like the Becca. I will probably keep that one no matter what, but I'll try this one out as well. I'm not positive this is a good shade match, but let's see, especially because it's for concealer. It might be a little light. Oh. Ooh. I think I used way too much. <laughs> Literally, it was like the tiniest little squirt out of the tube. Oh, oh, it's way too much. It's way too much. So this IT Cosmetics is very, very thick. It's very, very slippery. <laughs> and you don't need much of it at all. I put way too much on. I had no idea what I was up against. I think the color match is okay. I just think 
whatever shiny the NARS was imparting, uh, it's doubly so now underneath my eyes. So we're gonna try to powder that a little bit and take some of that shiny away. Okay, now once I've set that down with powder, uh, my skin looks pretty good, in, at least in the handheld. I'm still a little bit um, reflective in the ring light, but I think that that's just the lighting in here. I think in regular life I will not look a, quite so headlights coming out of my face. I do look very well rested. That's always good. All right, let's move on to cheek product. So I did powder in the middle of my face, but I didn't go out to the outside because I still want to try this. So this is from Lila B. This is the Divine Duo Lip and Cheek. My mom sent me this sample. I don't know where she ended up getting it, but I, I looked it up on Sephora. It is a brand that they carry. I've just never seen it in stores. It comes with three samples, Be Real, Be Fearless, and Be Sassy. These can apparently be used uh, on the lips or on the cheeks. You apply it with your fingers. And uh, if you want a precise lip application, you're supposed to use a lip brush, but I think we're just gonna go for a gentle wash of color. So my instinct says to go for the bright pink one because I love bright pink, but the red also looks pretty great. I think though I'm gonna go for the more neutral. I'm gonna go for the Be Real because I think as a cheek color, that's probably going to be the best bet for me. So it's sort of shiny in the container. It feels a lot actually like the, the Becca under eye corrector cream. It's the same sort of texture. Ooh, there we go. Now it's starting to come off. It's actually a very beautiful, very subtle blush. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the liquid uh, NARS Orgasm um, in the sense that it does look sort of like, it looks very natural, it doesn't look like you're wearing makeup because it's not powdery. So that seems quite pretty actually, so I'll keep an eye on this. This might be one of those things I pick up later on if I run out of another product. And this was something I just picked up at the drugstore. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow Nude Highlighting Palette. This is in the color Moon Kissed. This is the 760. I saw this the other day and I had I had my CVS extra care bucks and I had enough to buy this without having to actually spend any real money. So I figured, oh, I'll give it a try. So I wanted to swatch this at least to see how it felt. So on the top we have Moon, here we have Venus, we have Jupiter, and we have Twilight. They're very pretty on the skin. They're kind of subtle. There's sort of an iridescence to Venus, which is the, the shade here. It's got like a like a almost a a purple undertone in the like a light like a lilac undertone not like a dark purple like a a light purple sort of shift to it it's very pretty uh, these are a little powdery but they don't feel too bad on the skin and they actually do blend pretty nicely I think this will be more of a subtle highlight than a wham bam in your face kind of thing but I think we're gonna go with the Venus shade shocking I know. They do make this palette in a darker version. I did take a look at that as well. I just didn't think that those shades were necessarily going to suit my skin tone, but they'd be much better. They'd be really pretty for a darker skin tone. Okay, that highlighter actually gives way more bang for your buck than I was expecting. This is a keeper. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to take some of that Be Real and try to put it on my lips and see how that feels. It barely looks like I'm wearing anything. I don't feel it too much either. It kind of feels like when you put foundation on your lips by accident. That's what it feels like. So it doesn't feel bad, but it's not the most comfortable lip product either. But I do like it as a blush. I will probably keep the sample and continue using it as a blush, at least for now. I don't know that I'd want to wear these as lip products though. And while this is not technically a product I've never used before, what I will commit to doing is using colors I've never used before. So let's see what's left, shall we? <laughs> So I've previously done a look on the channel with um, with Edge, Untamed, and Destiny with Electric on top. I also did a look in a video, I didn't point out that it was subculture, but if you read through the notes you'd see that it was. I did one with All Star, Mercury, uh, a little bit of Adorn, and then I tried Cube. Cube is a bit of a mess. It's very difficult. It, I've hit hard pan on it already and I've only really used it like the once. So I may have to do a little gentle scraping on it to get that off. So let's go with some colors I haven't tried yet. All right, so I'm gonna take New Wave and I'm gonna put that along my crease. Also bless my color switch because without this, using subculture would be a huge disaster. <laughs> the colors are so pigmented and they really stick to the brush. And I've been cleaning the brushes a lot, but I'm trying to give them a little bit of a break. This feels less invasive to them. That one's really powdery the way Edge was, but that one turned out well, so I have high hopes. New Wave is a really beautiful color. I don't know how flattering it is on me, but that's not the point of makeup sometimes. I do love the idea of this shadow, if perhaps the reality is not so great. 
If the reality is that I look like I have taken Cheetos and rubbed them on my face, you know, that's a look. Maybe that's what I'm trying to accomplish here. Okay, so now I've taken New Wave. Still powdery. <laughs> Running out of colors I haven't tried before. Alright, we're gonna take Axis. Why not? What's the worst thing that can happen? Fingers crossed on this one. This, oh! That's really powdery. <laughs> So this Axis shade is really quite lovely. I will point out that this one in particular really powdered up when I tapped it, so I'm being very, very gentle, but there's still definitely powder going poof. I really do like this palette. I'm not upset that I bought it. I am very pleased with how it's performing for me. I I'm also kind of tempted now to pick up Prism because I wasn't sure I was going to get Prism either. And I kind of want it because I've heard that prism and subculture go together very well, but I am hesitant because of how delicate these shadows are. I don't want to damage it. But at the same time, I am enjoying playing with this. I, I've played with it several days in a row, forsaking other palettes I love very much, just because the color combinations are so interesting in this, so I'm still deciding. I'm going to take the color Roxy now and try to blend between the two just a little bit. I think it just needs a little more something. Then I'm going to take a little bit of Dawn and I'm going to take that up along the brow bone. And technically I did play with it already a little bit the other day, but I am going to take a teeny tiny bit of Adorn and just tap that into the center of the lid. Breaking all my own rules! This might not be my favorite color combination from Subculture, but I do like it. It's worth trying out. And now I will have officially used every color in the palette except except for fudge and rowdy. Unfortunately, the creasing on this IT Cosmetics stuff is horrendous. There's no anti-aging property about this. This is triple aging. All right, I have mitigated the creasing. We're gonna put on a little bit of my Project Pran Mascara, and then I'm going to get out a different lip product because I don't like this. This is dry. <laughs> it's funny how the combo of these two mascaras, this is the CoverGirl Peacock Flare, and then this is the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash, Together, I like both of these mascaras way better than I liked either one of them apart. I sort of felt like putting mascara in a project pan was kind of cheating anyway, because you shouldn't have your mascara open that long, but I at least wanted to feel like I made a real effort to use it, which I have. So I'm not feeling the Lila B on my lips, just doing my eye makeup right now. My lips felt really dry and I didn't care for it. I do like it as a blush product. I'm going to keep the samples and keep using them as a blush, but I don't think I'd put this on my lips. Even if I bought a full size, it would be a blush only. So I'm going to pull out a different lip product. This is the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in the shade Star Woman. So I got this as a 100 point perk at some point during the holidays. So I haven't tried this one out. It's a beautiful red though. I'm, I'm, I'm having high hopes. It's a very tiny applicator. The applicator on this is so incredibly short. Like, that's my thumb. <laughs> so it's very difficult to put this on and have any sort of control. It's all over my teeth. I also got some on my finger and I've now stained the outside of this packaging. In an attempt to correct it, there's now way too much. I'm gonna have to take it off and start again. Okay, I've taken off the NARS Power Mat. I'm gonna try to put it on again, see if I can do a little bit better this time. Uh, so far, my first impression of this NARS Power Mat, it's like the Fenty Beauty, only if the Fenty Beauty had a terrible applicator. Uh, the Fenty Beauty applicator is awesome. It's the one thing that makes that lipstick totally worth putting up with because the lipstick looks beautiful once you get it on, but if you make a mistake, you have to start over. <laughs> okay, that went better. It's still on my teeth. Because I have the Fenty Beauty Stun a Lip Paint, I wouldn't need this because that's easier to use. It does transfer and it does, you know, make a little bit of a mess, but it looks beautiful once it's on and the applicator on that's wonderful. I love the applicator. It's this really weird sort of like half snowman shape. It's hard to explain. There's like a little ball on the end. This applicator on the other hand, this thing's awful. It's so short. It has no flexibility whatsoever. Um, I would only assume that this is easier to deal with if the stick was longer, because it's in the bigger size. But even then, I don't think I would like this applicator one bit, especially because the product is very liquidy, but it also dries really fast. I do think it's going to be a nice matte lipstick, I'm going to wear it out, and that's fine, but ugh. And for this much trouble this this is, even though it's a beautiful red, I think I would just stick with my Fenty Beauty. I would not pick up a full size of this. 
Ugh, no thank you. Anyway, there's a full face shopping out of my stash, picking out some stuff that's new to me. I, I think this foundation is pretty good. Maybe I'll put this one on the list once I use up something else. I'm not buying any more foundation right now until I have used up something else. So that's a promise to myself and to everybody else. But I do like the glow I'm getting from this highlighter. I think it's lovely. The blush is a beautiful, subtle blush, so I'm happy to keep using that. I just won't be putting it on my lips. Uh, the colors for subculture I've tried today, I like those too. Uh, is not the first choice I would have gone with, but I do think you can make a nice look out of it as well. And this lipstick, this NARS Power Matte, um, the color's really beautiful, but it's it's very reminiscent to me of the Fenty Beauty, but I prefer dealing with that one. The applicator on this is just terrible. So anyway, that was my full face today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content on this channel, please subscribe. If you got a suggestion for a video, please put that down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye!